So I have prepared some um, case reports uh, from the daily work, nothing special, but sometimes a little bit an unusual course. So the first uh, feed, uh, the first lady was referred for first trimester screening. <coughs> what do you think? What's your diagnosis? Yes. Maybe you have the image that the AV valve is in one plane. It's a bigger image. So suspicion of an AVSD. We have done an invasive procedure, CVS, the chromosomes were normal. The next um, examination was with 16 weeks. The image is much clearer. So then we saw the lady again for typical, it's our normal management was 22 weeks. So what happened? still alive, yes. <laughs> it's a heart plug. So we have a normal frequency in the ventricles and uh, in, the, in the atria and an abnormal frequency in the ventricle. What is your recommendation? Termination immediately or maybe wait a little bit? <laughs> is it uh, something from the, some people from the audience say? <laughs> No termination. We wait one week. That's a no, it's the same. So uh, one week later, same case. Normal frequency. And it was in 22 weeks, the whole examination, one hour AV block. And uh, the cause was birth at term with a low weight. The baby developed in pulmonary stenosis after 30 weeks, and uh, the operation of the AVSD was done, and after birth, no signs of arrhythmia. So, case two. Case two was referred to us with a suspicion of an AVSD, and there was a second ultrasound in a different unit. There was a suspicion of an hypoplastic left heart syndrome, and this is the image at 22 weeks. I have done the scan and my diagnosis was AVSD. Do you agree? Yes? No? It's either yes or no. Hypoplastic left heart, AVSD, okay. We have done an invasive procedure. So, hypoplastic left heart, any more? No. AVSD and additional VSDs in the ventricular septum. So, this was a diagnosis at that time. What do you think about that? Yes, you saw some cases from Cellini and from Rabi before. There's no one on the right side. There's only one superior vena cava on the left side. So again, we go back to the heart and you see the aorta, the pulmonary trunk, the left superior vena cava. 28 weeks, much better. Image then was 22 weeks. And I re examined the heart at 28 weeks. Dilated sinus coronarius. But you have always, uh, this is the aorta. The aorta looks completely normal. Sometimes you have the, also, always the appearance of an AVSD. But 
when you change the same as you have heard in the talks before, and you, we change the transducer, we have clearly two AV valves, one and two, and we have a mitral stenosis with some muscular VSDs, three, and it was not an AVSD, and the baby was born, and um, the only problem is the VSD, and, but now there's no operation. Here you can see clearly the dilated sinus coronarius. Yeah, but uh, we have it's, it's, uh, we have a disproportion between left and right. But you have a normal function. You have an undergrad perfusion of the aorta, and uh, it's a normal biventricular function after birth. No coarctation. No coarctation. So, K3, okay, uh, a very good examiner have done screening ultrasound uh, and he diagnosed at 18 or 19 week an AVSD. Again. And he have done an invasive procedure and this was, was 18 weeks. He made the diagnosis with the normal size of the baby and with normal chromosomes and no signs for microdeletion. So then what he always uh, do is he sends the patient uh, to us for a second opinion. This is his way and I think it's also a good way. And we saw the lady was um, 22 or 20, yeah, 24 weeks. This is the image of the biometry. There's a small disproportion between head and rump. And this is a biometry. It's not so nice as in his examination. And something is wrong in the brain. So, what do you want to do? Huh? <laughs> that was a breach. <laughs> okay, but we, we went to the geneticist and asked the geneticist if they re-examined the chromosomes. And they have done this. And they found a micro-deletion uh, for uh, 4p minus. And this is a region. And for them, it's really difficult uh, to, to make this diagnosis. Okay. So the fetus was referred with an abnormal heart axis, 22 weeks. What do you think about this? Yes. And polyhydramnion. What do you think about the timers and the TT ratio? So micro deletion 22. Sometimes the heart axis is more than 45 degree around 90 degree and sometimes you have the impression there is a valve but this is only the annulus of the of the valve in the vessel so that's it and this case was referred with a suspicion of the skeletal anomaly was 28 weeks Normal? Normal heart? <laughs> okay, we put color. It's 
So only perfusion on the left, no perfusion on the right. There's a tricuspid insufficiency, undercut perfusion of the aorta. And when we go to the three vessel trachea view, you see a bidirectional fl blood flow in the pulmonary trunk up to the pulmonary valve. And here ends the flow and goes back, so it's the pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum and a skeletal anomaly, normal chromosomes. And then, it was okay. And then you go in the, in the, in the more sagittal plane and you see the undergrad perfusion of the aorta and often you will find in pulmonary atresia the retrograd perfusion via the ductus below the aortic arch. And then the last case, last case was um, referred for screening. This is left. The left is below. The auto is more in the middle. Left is here. Here is right. Dextrocardia, yes. We have an two atria. We have pulmonary veins entering the left atrium, maybe dilated, left appendage. We have a forearm ovale bulging into the left atrium, right atrium. We have a moderator band going to the apex of the ventricle, typical for right. We have papillary muscles going to the free wall of the ventricle, typical for left. So suspicion of AV discordance. There's a VSD, two AV valves, and one big dilated vessel going to the left. The aorta is in, in this image more in the, in the left. And when you play with the transducer, you see pulmonary arteries, and there's no vessel between here and the ventricles, so pulmonary, uh, on top pulmonary atresia. So this means AV discordance, pulmonary atresia, dextrocardia. So thank you. <laughs>